finally at long last thrones of decay is here and as a self-proclaimed empire main i must confess i am extremely excited for this dlc and all that it has the potential to bring to the empire have not yet seen the trailer i just got back from a busy morning of doing things and so here i am to live record a reaction for all you guys just quick and dirty uh we're gonna go through it all one time fully and then we will sort of go back through, I'll sort of pause and take a look at things and speculate and ramble a little bit, I'm sure. So stay tuned for all of that. Let's get straight to it. Okay. Elspeth, yes, of course, of course. Who else would it be but Elspeth? We all knew. We all knew it would be Elspeth, right? Carmine Dragon's looking great. Purple Sun. Yep. Cutting through the forces of Nurgle. We do see some stuff. Okay, that looks like a bro on the Demigriff. Okay. Looks like uh, some kind of large plague bros. Okay, that's got to be a Master Engineer, right? Oh, my toad. What? Could it be the legendary tro Toad Dragon and Tamarkan himself, of course? I mean, we all expected this, right? This? Maybe not, actually. Malachi and the Slayers? Looks like a whole bunch of new Slayer. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, wow. They actually brought it in, the Thunder Barge. They did it. <laughs> Oh, the goblin hewer too? Are you kidding me? Oh, man. Is this like the meme update of all meme updates? Oh, they put the land ship too! Yes, it is officially. This is... Despite what the dramatic music would have you think, this is literally the meme unit DLC for these factions. Um... <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Yeah, so... Uh, unbridled hype, absolutely, on my part. So, let's go back and see if we can pick out some more details. Obviously, we all see the big pieces, right? Um, so we start out here with, uh, Elspeth and the dragon. Uh, the Carmine dragon, she kind of swoops in here, of course. And, uh, we do see some flying disgustingness. Some furies and such, nothing really too important to look at there. Just gonna go ahead and throw in a purple sun, and it's hard to see in these big wide shots anything new. And like here, you just see some Nurgle heads, right? Some Marauders, but uh, yeah. This guy here, I don't remember the Empire lore well enough to know his name. I feel like I should know his name. I'm not really the biggest lore guy, but probably a legendary hero who can ride a demigriff is what I would guess. Very cool looking. Um, okay, we've got some stuff here. This guy is holding a repeater. I don't know if that really matters that much or if that's just for the purposes of the trailer, but uh, the armor does look a little bit different too, actually, from like the regular state troop armor. He's kind of got like some chain mail underneath. He's got like almost like the pistolier, like something underneath its breastplate as well. So I don't know. This might be something different. I don't know. Maybe I'm looking way too much to this. Maybe this is like a hero or something, but... Uh, yes, Plague Ogres, definitely. Those those have to be Plague Ogres, right? I mean, they're giant, they're plagued, they're, they're ogre-looking. I mean, Tamarkan himself, if I'm not mistaken, I was reading up on his lore the other day, I think he's a, a Plague Ogre, right? He's gotta be. So yeah, this guy, Master Engineer, and uh, up on the walls with him, he's got some riflemen. Uh, again, a little bit of a different armor kit than what we see on the normal, like, handgunners and state troops, so that might be a new unit type. I'm sure they have the Steam page up already where all this is listed, but yes, this is the one also, the Toad Dragon, that I was actually reading up on the other day. Very cool. Uh, massive, massive uh, monstrous mount for Nurgle, of course. Nurgle has few massive monsters already, but certainly this could be one of them. His Empire troops just getting ragdolled. Tamarkan himself looking fantastic, and it's a little bit hard to see. They're riding pretty fast, but these are some new mounts for Nurgle. I'm guessing they'll probably have like a unit, maybe like a Lord level mount as well. Um, they are riding through here pretty quick, but yeah, they're like some kind of disgusting beast. I love the <laughs> Malachi just, 
Uh, blasting the Plague Ogre in the face. And then, yeah, we've got uh, a new-looking Slayer. He's dual-wielding dual-bladed axes, notably, which is interesting. And then is that Gotrek right there? I think to his left. That might just be Gotrek. Yeah, and Felix also. It's a little bit hard to see there, but you can see his cape and such. His pantaloons. So that's pretty cool. We've got a steam tank with the hatch open right here in this. It is missing its gun, weirdly, in this screenshot. I guess this is like a, an exploded, like, derelict steam tank. But still, the hatch is open, which is interesting. Uh, and then, of course, yes, the uh, airship with, let's see, let's, let's, try, let's try and count the guns on the side here. So it's at least got two cannons on the side, right? That are firing, and then a whole bunch of gunners on the top. That's probably like six to eight, maybe ten hand gunners up on the top. <laughs> this slayer's like drinking in the back there. I didn't notice that the first time. That's amazing. Great little detail there. Okay, and then these Nurgle bros charging through here. Uh, I don't think it's anything new. Yeah, just some plague bears and some warriors and stuff. Getting hit by the goblin hewer. Yes. <laughs> Another absolute meme unit is crewed by Slayers, which, um, I mean, assuming they are, just, like, Slayers, that'll be interesting. It'll be very hard to kill them with, like, cavalry, but I don't know. It, yeah, I, don't, I have no idea, <laughs> honestly, what we'll, what we'll see there. But uh, Tamarkan, this also is, like, some other new legendary bro, I'm sure. He looks pretty unique. And uh, is this also someone new, or is that just a generic... Harold, I think it's someone new. Maybe one of you guys could let me know. He looks different. Malachi. Okay, so charging past Malachi, we do see uh, Gautrek, Felix, and it's hard really with like the, how pixelated this is compressed up on YouTube, but it does look like just Slayers in general and with varying weapon types as well. So definitely new Slayer units, and of course the land ship. Um, yeah, I, I honestly am so excited for this thing. It's probably going to be Pretty OP for a patch or two, and that's okay. But, uh, I mean, just look at it. So we've got a cannon on the front there. There's gunners, basically like two war wagons stacked on top of a cannon. Um, with probably a lot of HP, I would imagine, given its massive size. Yeah, there we see the Demi Bro, Elspeth. Elspeth's outfit's looking pretty scary, actually. <laughs> But uh, fantastic. Yeah, lots of gyros and more airships moving in. Fantastic. Absolute hype on my part. So uh, I will be able to get you guys some early access content as well. Of course, I can share my schedule right now. So let me just pull that up real quick. So starting on Tuesday, the 16th of April, I'll be showing you guys some of the rework battle content, uh, some of the free LC stuff that's coming uh, there is reworked stuff for the different factions and uh, everything. Then, starting on the 23rd of April, we'll jump into the actual DLC content itself. And then, uh, yeah, I'll proceed on from there. So, I'm super excited to bring you guys uh, content from this DLC. Uh, just, you know, from the trailer itself, it definitely hypes me up quite a bit. There's a few kind of bucket list units in this DLC that I honestly didn't think that we would ever see in Total War Warhammer because of their sheer level of ridiculousness, like the Goblin Hewer and the land ship. But here we are in 2024, and we've got it. So big hype on my part. Hopefully the update delivers everything we want and more. And uh, yeah, definitely look forward to some content on that coming soon. I'll have some more content on the current patch uh, following on later this week, and look for a uh, community replay stream just to kind of w wind down and wrap up this patch, uh, maybe like the 14th or 15th of, of April. I'm not really 100% sure yet when it'll be, but definitely stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you want to watch. If you're not subscribed, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.